There's a fish. Oh, 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 oh yes. That is a beautiful fish. That's what it's all about right there. That's a steelhead. Yeah. Hell yeah. The curse is broken. What do you take? Huh? What do you take? Yep. I'm not gonna step on your rock. I like the enthusiasm. <laughs> True. But first cast, Matt got into the first steelhead of the day, and it's his first time catching one on this river. And he's been fishing here for many years, so that's really cool. I'm glad he got one. First cast, no less. Jeremy needs to get one now. Cold! I caught one in the back eddy last time. Pick up. Huh? You got a fish? No. Rock on? <laughs> Can't break off. Uh-oh. Good job, we're done. Heck yeah. Dude, good job. Hopefully the camera's good, but uh, I just went in pretty deep. Uh, everything's wet. 
we'll have to take everything off here, dry off, and get cold. I just crossed lines. Oh. Okay, well, we were on the porn tube bus. I remember I snagged your line when we were tired and almost done. I think I did it to you. No, I was the one cast. I, I was even paying that cast right over the top of you. But I was mean. I like to take the blanket for it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that, but thank you for owning up. That means a lot. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, Oh, shit. Oh yes, that's a big fish. No, uh, yeah, it does. Oh, don't lose him. He ran towards me. Felt big. Gave up though. It probably run again when we get close to shore here. So I foul hook. Oh. That's why. That's why he's running so hard on you. <laughs> Don't even to tie him. Oh, muscle him in here. Oh, no. Not a bad fish. Still like that. Is it? Can't tell. Uh, I'm gonna put a little more pressure on it. Still on. Thank y'all. Oh, that's a beautiful. That's the, that's the prettiest fish yet, dude. Wow. That's a beaut. Cool. Look at him. The hatchery or a wild. It's wild. Okay. That is a beautiful fish. That's what it's all about, right there. All right, we're all on the board. 18. Cool. That's a pretty fish. See ya. On this water, you can see down there so freaking far. I know. I always want to take... Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, I take time at the end of each video to give a fishing report and fill in any details like the flies I was using, etc. But first, I have a big announcement to make. I often get requests from subscribers to asking me to sell flies that I use all the time. Flies like the Sexy Waltz Worm, Caddis Dredgers, and much more. Stuff that's fairly common in tying circles, but you rarely see them sold in local fly shops. So starting today, I'm offering the Sexy Waltz Worm for sale. That's right. And over time, I'm going to offer more patterns as I get my inventories built up, but that's not all. Later this week, look for my very first fly tying tutorial, 
And with it, I'm gonna offer many of the materials I use for sale. I've partnered with Firehole Outdoors for hooks and beads, and Semperfly for thread, wire, dubbing, and their whole lineup, basically. So yep, I'm opening an online fly shop called Driftstone. And this is just the start. I'll be working hard to expand my inventory because there's a ton of cool stuff out there. I'm trying to support smaller companies because you can get hairline and wopsy stuff anywhere. If there's something you'd like to see in the shop, be sure to let me know. Alrighty, so let's talk about steelhead. It was a fantastic day because Matt's been fishing the Trinity for years and has never been able to hook and land a steelhead. Until today. He's caught them in countless other rivers, but never the Trinity. So today he broke the curse and landed two beautiful steelies. And so a huge congrats out to you, Matt. I'm stoked I got to be there to see it happen. So the first didn't stop there. Jer fished the Trinity with me a bunch of times this season and he skunked every time, sadly. He's primarily a tight liner, so fishing an indicator in slow, clear water isn't his strongest hand. But today, that all changed and he landed two nice steelies as well. So I love days where you get to see someone's confidence grow and see their aha moments when things start to click into place. Rounding out the day, I managed to foul hook a beautiful 18 inch steelhead and get it back to the net. It was a huge boost for me because I was frustrated all morning. I was off my groove and I just couldn't get good drifts. I was tangling and snaggling up left and right and it led to me making a bad decision to cross some swift current using my tripod and camera as a wading stick and I fell in over my waders. I was able to keep my camera up out of the water and get my feet underneath me and not get swept out into a deep pool. So thankfully I was in a sunny section and was able to peel off all my wet layers and get dry before I had to suit back up and carefully cross back to the bank. So don't be stupid like me. I think there'll be some studded felt boots in my future. For flies, Jer was rocking a size 12 red copper drawn for both of his fish. Matt got his on a sexy waltz worm and a good old pheasant tail. And for me, I fin hooked my fish on a number 10 jig golden stone rubber legs. Thanks again for watching, and if you haven't yet, please like the video and subscribe. If you'd like to hang out in the new Discord server, you can chat with the community, share flies, river reports, all the things. Look for the link down in the description. Be sure to check out the new fly shop at driftstone.co, and if you spend 50 bucks, shipping is free. Until next time everybody, Godspeed.